Hello again and welcome back to this series of video tutorials based around the Speedwell Weather Data Tools. My name is Nick Hammond, I'm Head of Marketing here at Speedwell and what I'd like to discuss today is our Superpack subscription and map interface tool. Now the Superpack subscription is our basic data product and what that provides access to for subscribers is over 15,000 weather sites in any combination that you choose or for a single annual license fee so removing the need for multiple data supply contracts. Now, this subscription is available in three main methods. It's available via download from this map interface tool, which I'll be showing you a little bit more of in a second. It's also available via FTP and API, so you can download the data directly to your systems and models at your own convenience. And all the weather sites here are quality controlled daily in terms of going through a, a daily process to make sure there are no um, errors or unusual outlying data. So let me show you first of all, if I go back to the main Speedwell Weather homepage, how quick it is to get back into the map tool. So go to tools, go to weather data, and as a subscriber, what this will then do is take you into the map interface. Now I should recommend here that using Chrome or Firefox, there is some slowdown with versions of Internet Explorer, so I'd stick to the, uh, the previous two browsers there to load this most efficiently. Now, the map tool here really serves a dual function. Uh, one is for trialists of potential subscribers, so you can see exactly what information is available here. And the way you do that is just by clicking on the series of sites that you're after. So let's say I wanted to look at a series of sites in Brazil. I'm just going to tick the Brazil data pack, telling me there are 116 sites counted in that particular region. So I'll just click load selected data packs. And what it'll now do is take me over to Brazil in the map interface and illustrate all of the sites that are available in the primary archive there. And down below here you'll also have a list of those individual sites in addition to some data tools and I'll be taking you through those data tools in more detail in future tutorials just to tell you how you can leverage those. You do have to be a SuperPack subscriber to have access to those data tools and of course to download the full sets of underlying data. So that is the other function of the map tool if you're a subscriber. So whether you're a subscriber or not you can click into an individual data site here and you can choose to show the inventory and what the inventory will tell you is exactly what weather elements we have available uh, between which particular dates. Now if you do see a series of weather elements here which you're after but for, for whatever reason aren't displayed here do please make inquiries with us. We, we do have other archives of information where we may display other weather elements which might be of use to you so if there's something specific that you need then do please make inquiries with us. And you also here have access to downloading data as well. And uh, I'll be taking, taking users through that in a later tutorial, uh, but for now that's where that information can be accessed from. So I think that concludes our demonstration for today. If you found this video useful, then do feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please stay tuned for future tutorials.